Soul Holly Spirits. We're back at the same place, same time, on Lilai. Today's date is September 19th and a day for a special invitation. Hey, Nevin, I'm hungry. Of course you are. So let's go to Ganishka with the lunch. Bon Jolly Spurs, today's lunch is nachos. Nachos with chili cheese sauce, nachos with cheese sauce, extra cheesy pizza box, pepperoni pizza box, Maria's pinto beans, cucumber coins, orange smiles, sliced peaches, and assorted milk. Have a terrific Tuesday, Spurs. Hey, Nevin, do you know the word of the week? To be honest, no. That's okay. So to help you, let's go to Shadow with the leadership tip and code of the week. I got you, anchors. This week's word of the week is patience. Patience means the ability to wait calmly. The quote of the week is, consider the chicken. You get them by hatching the eggs, not smashing them, by Arnold H. Glosso. The lesson in leadership is, when a designer is assisting another learner, wait calmly until he or she can help you. Well, that's it for me. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Shrado. Hey, Shia, I don't know about you, but I think the weather's been getting cooler. I know, right? So now let's go to Sami with the weather. Good morning, Lee Spurs. It looks like it's a bit hot with a mild high of 90 degrees and a chilly 70 degrees. Well, that's it for me. Have a rocking recess. Thanks, Sami. Now for our favorite part of the day, the principles. Good morning, Lee Spurs, and happy Tuesday. We're so glad that you are here today. We are excited that today is Special Friends Day. So we look forward to you having guests join you at your lunchtime for a special treat in the cafeteria, followed by visits to our fall book fair in the library. Once you finish your lunch, you do not have to wait till the end of lunchtime to go shop at the book fair. You can wrap up your lunch, ask permission from the teachers on duty, and go ahead and start shopping in the book fair. That way you miss as little class time as possible. Once you're done shopping the book fair, if your class is, sorry, if your house is still in the cafeteria, please go back to the cafeteria. Otherwise, we want you to head back to class. Also, we wanna mention that Wednesday is our leadership council voting day. So if you are interested in running for a leadership council, you need to prepare a short video and be ready to show that to your class for voting on Wednesday. So good luck to all of you. I'm so proud of you who are brave enough to put yourself out there. I know that that takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage, and we know that each of you possess that in you. All right, I look forward to seeing everyone at Special Friends Lunch today. Have a great day. Please stand for the pledge to the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. Please stay standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. Happy Tuesday, Lee Spurs. So as a reminder, this is our start with hello week. So each day we are gonna hop on the announcements and share some information about the start with hello campaign. And we are also going to challenge you guys with some activities to show kindness and inclusivity. When we start with hello, we are making a difference in someone's life to help them feel accepted, included, and valued. Because social isolation can lead to bullying, violence, and or depression, when we start with hello, we are helping someone from possibly hurting themselves or others. Today, we encourage you to smile and perform a random act of kindness for someone today. Tomorrow, you are going to wear green to represent unity, solidarity, and inclusivity. 
We can't wait to see you representing these characteristics tomorrow. Thanks, Ellie. Oh, man. I'm tired of smelling birthday cake all the time. I want to eat it. Well, too bad. We have to go to Waishnami with the birthdays. I got you, Nevin. Today's birthday are Nihon in Y2, Saharsh in P5, and Shutva in G4. Now that's it for me. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Waishnami. Happy birthdays. Since it's still Hispanic Heritage Month, let's go to Saisha. Hey, Leaspers. It's me, Saisha. Today's Hispanic Heritage Month feature is Cesar Chavez. Cesar Estrada Chavez was born on March 31st, 1927, near Yuma, Arizona. The Great Depression in the 1930s forced his family to become migrant farm workers. When he was 15, Chavez was working full-time in the field. During World War II, he served in the Navy. In 1952, he joined a group that supported the rights of Hispanic people of California. In 1962, Chavez and Dolores Huerta founded a labor union called the National Farm Workers Association. In 1971, the group came to be known as the United Farm Workers of America, which is also called the UFW. Cesar Chavez led many protests to bring the problem of migrant farm workers into light. In the mid-1960s, he started a strike for California's grape pickers that lasted for five years. During the strike, Chavez got people across the country to boycott California's grapes. By 1970, many great plantation owners had signed contracts that improved working conditions and the wages of the workers. He also led strikes against lettuce growers and other farm businesses. He served as the president of the UFW until his death on April 23, 1993, at age 66. Well, that's it for me. Adios, amigos. It's she I think we're missing out on a ton of stuff. You're kind of right, Nevin. So now to Ellie with the special announcements. Hey Spurs, it's me Ellie again, and today I have another special announcement about Celebrate Freedom Week. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that too secure these rights. Governors and governments are instituted among men, deriving their powers from the constant of the governed, these words come from the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson considered the writing of the Declaration of the Independence his greatest achievement. It marked the beginning of self-government in America, and Thomas Jefferson didn't just say who we are as Americans, but what we can be. As Americans, what will you contribute? What will the words of the Declaration of Independence mean to you, and how will you use them for the good of all? Celebrate Freedom Week! Au revoir! Alrighty then, I think that's all. So we'll see you all in the same place, same time, on Me Live. Bye!